About two weeks after the launch, scheduled for October 2018, the James Webb Space Telescope will position itself in the so-called second Lagrange point, 1.5 million kilometers from Earth, where the gravitational pull of the Sun and the Earth almost cancel each other out. For comparison, the International Space Station is only 400 kilometers away from our planet. Well shielded from the sun, the telescope's 16 perfectly polished gold-plated beryllium mirrors will be able to register very faint infrared glows of events that have happened billions of years ago. And so we will look back to see the very first stars and galaxies born after the Big Bang, literally watch the universe light up for the first time. Because we're an infrared telescope, we can also see through dust clouds that block light, um, visible light, in our own galaxy, and then we can see stars and planets being born inside these dust clouds. Before launch, scientists want to make sure that all components will survive the shaking during liftoff and stay thermally stable in the extremely cold environment because the slightest distortion of any of the mirrors could defocus the captured images. The importance of the new telescope increased recently with the discovery that a dwarf star called TRAPPIST-1 has seven planets, some of which are in the habitable zone. We'll use Webb to study the atmospheres of those planets, to look and see what chemical constituents those atmospheres have. Is there water there? Is there um, ozone, perhaps? And so one of the first things I'm sure the telescope will do is study these atmospheres to see if they might be places where life could exist. Folded to fit the confined cargo space on top of the European Space Agency rocket Ariane 5, the new telescope will be launched from the Kourou Space Center in French Guiana 18 months from now. George Putich, VOA News, Washington.